As always, the end of the month signals the favorites and fails that I have gone through in the month for makeup, skincare, hair care, all of the good things. I have a great lineup for you today. I have some new things, some things I've talked about during the month, and then I also have some things that I've been using for years and years, but this month they kind of stood out to me for one reason or another. So we're gonna get into that, but before we do, I always like to tell you what I have on for a top because I get asked every time about my makeup, my skincare, my jewelry, my fingernails, everything. So I'll put up a picture right here of the top and you can go down into the description box and all of it, everything I'm wearing, including this full face of makeup, will be down there for you so that you can look through that and there will be links so that you can find that really easy and decide whether or not that's something that you want. If you are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome in. I'm glad to, that you're here. Hope that you do enjoy the content and if you do, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell, that way you know every Every time I upload a video and I appreciate all of my regular subscribers being here and supporting me so very much okay let's get into the things that I've been really in love with this month may or may not be brand new but I've been in love with them all right let's start out with something I told you about earlier in the month in a video for skincare and that is the Lumiel Glass Skin Liquid Exfoliant. If you saw that video, you saw how absolutely over the moon impressed I am with this product. This is one of the products that being a dry, mature skinned person, it really has made a dramatic difference in my skin. When I use this, my skin will be soft and supple and a little bit plumped. I can feel that plumpness, that tackiness, for hours and hours, and there is no other product on the market that I can say that about. I feel like over time, this is really helping me with that plumpness, softening fine lines, wrinkles. It is a very, very mild exfoliant, so if you have a problem with the exfoliants, this one might be absolutely perfect for you. And I did tell you in the previous video that this is not sponsored. This is not something that I make any money off of. I would really like to get a coupon for you guys. Maybe I'll find that down the road and get in touch with the company. But for now, this is just a fantastic fantastic product that I didn't want to keep to myself anymore because I know as a mature woman we all want that softness that evenness of texture and this product delivers a hundred percent I'm just in love with this another product that I brought to you before but I'm really enjoying it and really noticing a difference in my hair is from Redken. This is the Acid Color Gloss. This is a leave-in treatment, so it's a heat protector and the gloss at the same time. When I use this, it's super duper light, very light when you use it. There's hardly any residue left behind. You don't feel like you're sticky anywhere. It's just a super duper light leave in for your hair. I love that it gives you the gloss because if you're using heat afterwards, you know, a blowout or curling iron, flat iron, whatever you use, that heat is going to help activate that gloss a little bit more. This is a great product for keeping my hair shiny, but it's also a beautiful product for the lightweightness because I have fine limp hair and not letting my hair get weighed down, but at the same time, keeping it protected from the heat products that I do use. Another hair product that I discovered this month that I'm so in love with, and I'm not going to be able to use, well, I might be able to use it back here a little bit so you can see. This is from Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Texture Spray. This is a dry texture spray that you use on dry hair, but it has memory to it too. So you can get texture out of this and a lot of volume out of this but at the same time, you're getting some hold. And that's what I really love about it. It just is one that's super lightweight. It doesn't weigh your hair down, which is another big plus for me. They have two different kinds. They have a light and then they have this one. This one is for people that have really fine hair and need that extra boost of volume. For me, this has been a lifesaver. I went on a trip to see my daughter over the weekend and I used this every single day and I got up and I refreshed my hair and I didn't have to do my hair for three days, which is a bonus when you're on the road and you don't want to get in the shower every single morning just to refresh your hair. So I really am in love with that. One more product for the hair and this one you have been hearing me talk about 
for ages. And that is from Pervana. This is the Perfect Blonde Purple Hair Mask. This is a fantastic hair mask for anybody that contends with the brassies on their hair. I've been talking about this for such a long time. I mean, we're talking years, but every time I get to this point where my hair gets a little bit brassy, I'm reminded of how much I love it because it keeps that golden tone at bay and it deposits that purple, which neutralizes the gold. It's so good. So I'm going to show you right here how thick and how amazing that purple tone is. This is the only mask that you would need. You wouldn't need an extra shampoo and conditioner if you were to use this. You can mix this in with your shampoo and conditioner. It doesn't take very much. I do it with my conditioner and then I let it sit on my hair while I'm doing whatever else I'm doing in the shower or the tub. And really helps keep that brass at bay. Now I have also been told that you can use this on clean dry hair and it will deposit even more. I don't know about that, but I would think that if you're gonna use it on dry hair, I would probably spray my hair a little bit, just to get my hair a little bit damp, and then I would use this with a little bit of conditioner. Go ahead and put it on your hair and see what you think of your hair. Make sure that your hair has been washed before you do that procedure because you don't wanna to have to wash your hair again just because you've used this, but you're gonna rinse it out at the end. I've heard from my hairdresser that that's a great way to counteract the brassies. Also want to mention to you something that has really caught my attention this past month because I've had a lot of problems sleeping because I had my surgery and it was like my sleep schedule was off like a baby. So I was trying to figure out what I could do to really get myself back in the groove of sleeping regularly at night. And I have brought this to you before, but you know, sometimes things get pushed to the back of your closet and you forget about them or the back of your cupboard and you forget about them. But this gummy melatonin from Natural, this is a wonderful sleep product. I can use two of these and a little bit of magnesium and I sleep like a baby. And I'm so glad that I remembered that I had these because using these has really helped me sleep through the night. And sometimes in the night, I'll wake up and my brain just starts going, going, going. Well, if I take these and the magnesium together, then it just helps me get that sleep. Even if I have to do get up and go to the bathroom, I can go right back to sleep, which is a big deal for me as well. And I will list below this the magnesium that I take if you're interested. But this has just been an invaluable product to me this month when I've had trouble sleeping because I haven't felt the greatest. Jen Phelps is somebody that influences me like no other person on YouTube. She has the best recommendations and I love her for them. She recommended this new Tree Hut flavor, which is Cherry Rave. This is a Shea Sugar Scrub. So the sugar in it is what really gives us the exfoliation on our body. And that's really good because it's not that super hard grit that's going to rough up our skin or kind of, you know, make our skin feel raw at times. But this has a fantastic smell. If you have smelled the Tom Ford Cherry or the Huda Beauty Cherry, the, that's what this smells like. It's just it's this wonderful fragrance that has that cherry deepened kind of black cherry fragrance to it. But at the same time, it has notes in there that are almost like amber and sandalwood. I'm not exactly sure what the exact notes on here are on here, but I have been in love with this one and I'm so glad that she recommended it. If you haven't tried any of Tree Hut's sugar scrubs, they are fabulous for your body. And if you're somebody that has that crepey skin, one of the things you want to do before you put on any lotion whatsoever is to get the dead skin off and exfoliate before you start. And this is a great way to do that. One product that I did want to say that I was not impressed with, so this is a fail. This is from Juvia's Place and this is their powder foundation. I was surprised at how good it matched my skin, which I was really happy about. But the problem was is as I used this and I'm buffing it in, there was so much kick up that I ended up with it all over my clothes. I ended up with it, you know, flying through the air, going into my hair. I was not happy with that at all. And then I wasn't also happy with how it oxidized. Now powder foundations don't normally oxidize on me, which kind of took me by surprise, but this one did. And the other thing was, is if you've ever tried Laura Geller's powder foundation or her Baked and Brighton, 
it really covers well. This one didn't cover well. I mean, I'm buffing and I'm buffing and I'm buffing and I'm buffing and I'm not getting the coverage that I want out of it, especially through the areas where I have a lot of discoloration or redness. And so I didn't feel like it was even. I just, this was one that I would pass on if you're looking for a powder foundation. This is one that I don't feel like is the greatest. And then my friend Sherry from Graceful Beauty, um, if any of you watch her, she is such a great beauty guru. I love this gal. She researches ingredients and she finds the very best. She recommended this one. Um, I think it's from, I don't know, it's from Later Rose, something like that. It's a coffee eye lift serum. She was saying that this was as good as another serum that she was using and the other serum was quite expensive. So I thought, I'm just going to try this one. This one is really beautiful as far as this oil that you get out of it. The nice thing about the oil is it's a fairly dry oil, not dry oil. I shouldn't say that. It's a fairly quickly absorbent oil. So even though you're using a tiny drop underneath your eyes, you will really see that it sinks into that area quickly and then you can go ahead with your concealer if you want to. This hydrates and de puffs because it has the caffeine in, caffeine in it without drying out. So you've got that plumpness that you need underneath your eyes. But the nice thing about that sinking in like that is if you're careful with using a tiny bit of this and then a tiny bit of your concealer, you're not gonna have any creasing underneath there. It's just going to look really hydrated and really beautiful completely throughout your day. So this one was a great find for me too. This I have just about finished. You can see that my tube is ready to get another one. And I wanted to make sure that I put it in my favorites this month because this has been my summertime go-to SPF. I have two others that I really love from Thank You Farmer and th from Hamish. And I've talked about those all summer long too. They're beautiful, glowy, dewy products. But I like this one from Cetaphil because not only does it have the SPF in it, it's a cream that has all kinds of peptides and different things like that in it. And that's really what draw me drew me to this product it's very thin and it sinks in quite easily into your skin and i just have really enjoyed having it for the summer it's easy to apply of course it doesn't apply well if you've already got foundation on that's for other products but it's easy to reapply if you're just going out to the beach and you've got a bare face on or whatever and i really love the hydration in it as well you know i'm a dry skinned person and it's hard for me to get a balance in the summer between the breakthrough that I get around my chin and around my nose and the dryness that I get. And this one seems to be very balancing on that. So this is my favorite for the summer of the SPF. And I believe it's just gonna continue on into the fall because it plays so well underneath makeup and I really like it. I have three primers that I wanted to talk to you about. This little bitty thing right here, I got in a little Sephora sample thing. And I have had this before. This is from Rare Beauty. And this is her Always an Optimist Primer. And I forgot how much I love this. And I do. I think this is one of the most exceptional primers I've ever used. The reason being is because it does have the silicone. So it's going to blur out your pores. But at the same time, it's hydrating. It's very, very silky. Oh my goodness, it's so silky. And I used this all weekend when I was gone at my daughter's and I got all kinds of compliments on my skin, which I really attribute to this primer. I was wearing a nice foundation too, but this primer really set off any foundation that I was using and forgot how much I loved it. And I'm going to go repurchase the full size of this because it is a fabulous one. My thumbs up all the way for blurring, for keeping your makeup in, at, in place, and also for that bit of hydration that you might need if you're an aging dry woman like me. Here's the other two primers. No surprise here, you've all heard of these primers. We've all loved ELF's primers for such a long time. Right now, it's the Grip Primer that's going around. But I am still in love with the ELF Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. This one is the liquid. I really like it. It's very much actually like the Rare Beauty. It has those same properties. I can feel the dimethicone in it, so it's gonna blur out. It's gonna go into those pores and make those pores super smooth, but it has the hydration in it. It's going to hold your makeup in place because it's gonna create a barrier between your foundation and your skincare. Fabulous product. I have used tube after tube of this, but you know what? 
I don't know what made me pick this up again because I've used up two or three of these tubs of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And what's interesting about this is when you put your finger in here, it's so different. It's not thick at all. You would think that if it was a solid product like this in the pan, that it was going to be thick and hard for you to blend out on your skin. It's not. It is weightless. And I don't know how they get that weightless feel on there, but it feels even more hydrating than the other two primers that I was just talking about, even more than their liquid um, putty primer. This is probably my favorite primer of all time. I love the Tatcha, which is what inspired this, but I come back to something like this that's not so expensive, and I realize this is the OG favorite that we need to be reminded about because it is that good. Go back, dig yours out if you haven't had it out in a long time, and just remember how much you love this product when you tried it. I have not found anybody that I speak to that doesn't like it. It plays so beautifully under makeup and makes your makeup so flawless that I really want to recommend that you go back and look for it again in your stash because I think you're going to fall in love with it all over again. This is going to live in my drawer all fall. Alter Ego. Oh my goodness. They did such a good job on this daylight palette and they did a great alternative to the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona. I just feel like they knocked it out of the park. The metallics are absolutely gorgeous. They have a beautiful feel to them and they are not so high beam that they're going to look really icy and stark on your eyes, which is one thing that I love about this palette because when you're aging, you don't want too much of a stark look on your eyes, but you st if you still like sparkle like I do, you're still going to want something pretty like that. So let's just put this across here. I have Moira on my eyes today. But let's just kind of touch this up on here. So pretty. And then every single time that Alter Ego comes out with a palette and they do these mattes, I am in shock at how gorgeous the mattes are. They're soft, they're buildable, they're easy to work with, and they go so good together. They just complement each other so well. So I would say that if you have been pining over the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Den Denona, go ahead and get into this one. You will not be disappointed. If you've ever had an Alter Ego palette in the past, they do a fantastic job of giving us alternates to those super high-end palettes. And this is no this is no different than any of those other ones. So I have a code down below that will save you some money. So make sure that you look for that and you'll be able to get this a little bit less expensive than the retail price on there. I really think this is a beautiful palette. Right here is a fragrance that I feel like is the ultimate fall fragrance. These fragrances are from Le Monde Gourmand, and this one is Chai Epispice. I know that's not how you say it. Eau de Parfum. Okay. This smells like when you want a chai latte. It's so good, but at the same time, it's not so overwhelming that you can't wear it on your body. I'm shocked at how well they have blended these together to make these gorgeous fragrances that we have in our life, in our kitchen, in our fruit, everything like that. But it's elevated to where you can wear it on your body and smell so wonderful. And this one has huge notes of vanilla and spice in it, but it also has a little bit of that warm gourmand musk in it. They also have a peach one, which if I can find that, it's been out of stock for a while. If I can find it, it actually smells like peach cobbler. But again, it's very wearable. It's not like, oh, somebody's going to be smelling you like you've just been cooking for hours and hours. It's not like that, but it is a very special fragrance. And I have loved these. I have two of them now. I plan on getting several more because they're not that expensive and they last a long time on me. Also, I love to put them in my hair. They're just really special fragrances. And speaking of a fragrance, I used up this one. This is from Juliet Has a Gun, and this is her Vanilla Vibes fragrance. This was my summer go-to fragrance. This is a vanilla fragrance 
but set into Aloha beachy vibes. It has this amazing Mai Tai smell to it, but super vanilla. Can't really put my finger on what it all is in here. I'll try to put it up on the screen for you if I can. But oh my word, this is so good. So, so good. And I want to say that if you've been looking for a really great fragrance, you love vanilla and you kind of love that tropical fragrance, that's what's in here. And I think that you will go gaga for it. When I first got it, I was like, well, this isn't anything too special. But as soon as I started wearing it every single day, I repurchased it. So I've got another one coming to me right now and the big bottle because obviously I don't want to run out. But this is really, really good. And go ahead and look at the notes on Sephora's website. I think it is. And I think that you will be pleasantly surprised when you get this, how feminine, but how vanilla-y and warm it smells at the same time with that same elevated tropical smell. Oh, it's just a perfect pairing. Want to recommend to you this lovely baby. This is from Wonder Skin, and Wonder Skin has out that lip stain that's the peel off. They sent me a bunch of those, but they also sent me this, and I bought this years ago, but I forgot how much I loved Wonder Skin. They used to have the Wonder 2 brow product that stayed on forever. This one is their Longwear Eyeliner, and this one is, let's see what color this one is. This is Brown Sugar. I put this on my hand a few days ago and I kind of forgot about it because I had like six or seven swatches I was doing and I forgot about it and I washed my hands and all of the other swatches of the eyeliners went away except for this one. This one stayed. And then I'm thinking, well, is this going to be pretty in my waterline? Sure enough, it gave me three to four hours in my waterline unheard of because usually between a half an hour to two hours it's gone i have nothing in my waterline except for a little bit of smudging underneath my lashes there so this one is really good very very creamy when you're using it like this very buildable very smudgeable if you work with it right away because once it dries down it dries down now i would say that this is a fabulous liner for your top lash line if you're somebody that likes to go up in to the waterline on the top great for that as well it's just a really long lasting super duper waterproof eyeliner and i have been in love with it i have all the colors now because they sent them to me but i had forgotten how much i love that and they sent me a bunch of other stuff including that little lip stain don't know if i'm a fan of that i'm still testing that out but that one's really good sydney grace is an indie brand that probably most of us know because everybody loves their eyeshadow but did you know that Sydney Grace has so much more in their line? They have perfume. They are coming out with men's products. They have powders, cream blushes. They have lippies. They have a ton of stuff. And I would suggest to you, please go over there. I've got a rogue hair that feels like it's a little bug crawling on me. Got it. Ooh. Anyway, go over there and check out their products. First of all, this powder right here, loose powder, is uber fine and it's not got any talc in it it's made of mica so it's super duper light and airy and when you feel it in your fingers it feels like nothing it feels like you're just using the most micro fine milled product that you could possibly imagine it's really great at setting your makeup but it's also good at finishing your makeup too because of that mica that mica gives you just a tiny bit of glow the thing i think i love more than anything about this powder is it's not very expensive you get a huge tub of it and it's going to last you forever so if you've been wanting a new powder and you are a mature woman remember this one and go over there and check out all of their products I hadn't been over there for like a year and I couldn't believe how they've exploded and the different things that they do. I have full palettes of Sydney Grace singles. Their shadows are beyond anything. I mean, I appreciate their shadows even more than a Natasha Denona shadow. I just think they are that good. So this is a great powder. Remember when we're aging, we want to use a tiny bit of powder. The less is more with this one because of how finely milled it is, but I think you're going to absolutely love this. The combination I have on today of my lips is two products, which is a Clinique lipstick and then a Sephora lip balm. And the Clinique lipstick I think is Plum Pop. It is such a pretty lipstick color. When I first put this on, I ran into my mom and I'm like, Look at how beautiful that is. And it is, it's a pretty color. I can't wait to wear this all fall. 
Um, it's very satiny. It's very comfortable. It doesn't wear off really easy, and yet it gives you that big payoff for the color. They have a ton of colors in this. I suggest that you go in and look for your color if you have a specific color that you've been wanting. Great, great lipstick. And then also from the Sephora collection, this is their Outrageous Volume Lip Gloss. I've been wearing these forever, but I haven't had this color in such a long time. It says 09, and I want to say it's Plum Perfect, but I don't know because they make those stupid little things so small on there, even when you got your readers on. So this goes perfect over top that lipstick. It's like it's the perfect pairing, the perfect match of the two. And it just blends in perfectly, but it has a little bit of reflex in it. So you're getting that really beautiful look to your lips where it's shiny and yet you get that big color payoff. And that's what I'm going to be doing for fall is a little bit more color on my lips and a little bit less on my eyes. I think that's a really pretty look. And so this pairing has been really good. Rare Beauty, I am going back to over and over again. I think I talked about this last month. I'm in love with this mascara. I have the little one. It's lasted me probably three or four months now, and I am still going strong with it. So I really think that this is so good because of the wand, not just the formula, but the wand is great. It's a natural bristle brush, and I can really get my lashes to look long and voluminous. The volume comes from that natural bristle brush, and then I just go in and I just tip my lashes. This it has been a really great formula for me. After about 12 to 14 hours, you might get a little bit of flaking, but the payoff on the volume and the length on this is so worth it to me. If you want it to last a little bit longer, you might just tip it with some waterproof mascara and go that route. But yeah, this I wanted to put in here again because this has been all summer long favorite mascara. And I believe that's the roundup for this month's or last month, I should say in August, my favorites and the things that I was using over and over again and wanted to bring to you. I hope that you did enjoy them. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section, anything that you were loving in August, whether it was makeup, skincare, hair care. I'd love to hear that. Let me know. And I will probably go check it out because I usually do that every single time. Hope that you're all doing really well. Please take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my very next video. Love you much. Bye-bye, friends.